Welcome to Ads Power. Today we're going to look at my classic mini and why the thing won't idle. Okay, so why won't this car idle? Well, what's been happening is uh, I've been driving along, start the thing from cold, um, start driving, and um, it would just die. Um, you'd be, I don't know, changing gear or just take your um, or well, no, put your foot on the clutch and the rest just die away. The engine would stop. Um, obviously really annoying. Um, and it uh, can catch you out. If you're going to pull out onto a junction or something, you find the engines is just dead. So, um, I've got to have a look at it. Um, now people say digging around on this, that the idle control valve might be at fault. So we're going to have a look at it today. Um, it is, I believe it's this little critter down here. I'm just gonna take you with me so you can see it. Try not to get caught in all the mic. So you can see here, it's down here. Try and get my head torch. Uh, it's a bit buried, but there's like a blue connector and the valve's just under there. You can see here's the engine. So. We're talking, see where I can, I'm shining the torch. It's just below the air filter, just to the left. You can see those, that bunch of wires I'm pointing the torch at. So we're gonna take the air filter off, see if we can move some of these um, hoses out of the way and we'll have a look at the valve. Um, so the valve, I believe, um, alters airflow um, in the inlet manifold. So all these silver bits here are the inlet manifold. See that just about cameras in the way. Not the best filming, but you know, you make do on ads power. So uh, you can see the fuel rail in black. Um, and then this sort of silvery bit. Not very clear, but try and get it clear. So this bit down here. That down there is the uh, inlet manifold. So we're going to try and get in here, move some stuff out of the way. You can see here it's a rabbit's warren. Um, these these MPIs are, are just full of stuff. So um, we're going to get him and we'll have a look. Let's get going. Let's move this mic cable out of the way. Haven't quite invested in a cordless mic yet. This channel is just about having a bit of fun telling you what I'm doing at the moment. Don't want to go crazy with the old investment. There we go, there's a Jubilee clip off. And that's it, there's your air filter off. So obviously got the k and N. I I mean, it, it doesn't really do much apart from sound better, so. All right, there's your throttle body. That cable's actually a bit loose. I might tighten that up. I was watching something on YouTube the other day which said uh, the amount of people who uh, don't have the throttle cable tightened. So what happens is you press full throttle and you're not actually getting full throttle. Um, so, you know, you can, add, you can add a bit of performance just by tightening the throttle cable. So I think what we're going to do is pull this hose away. There we go. That was quite loose, which is a bit concerning. You probably can see none of this, and to be honest, I can't really see anything either. It's not, these, these cars, I love them, but you just can't get, get any, the access is just atrocious. There we go, so that, that connector's come away quite nicely, which makes a change. So when I'm working on these, I mean, this car's 1997, so it's getting on a bit. So you don't really want to, to force things because you're just going to break stuff. So we've got two torque screws. That doesn't look like this thing's ever been off the car. So just get me old torque screwdriver. Halford's advanced. 
you just can't knock it the old half is advanced it's good value and it just lasts because the amount of in fact what i'm going to do what i'm going to do is this is the top tip whenever i'm working on cars i'm just going to take the mic off whenever i'm working on cars often just a little bit of penetrating oil um, on the car, on the uh, on the fastener concern, it just just eases it off. Because you think this this hasn't moved since 1997, and you know this car, as you've seen in my video, doesn't have a particularly easy life. It's uh, it is enjoyed, and uh, as you can imagine, things get rather hot in here. Uh, right, first time. There we go. So that's come, that's come away nicely. So now, I'll make sure this doesn't get doesn't fall into the ether, never to be seen again. That is just delightful. I just can't get at that. If I can move this a bit further out of the way. Oh, this is just delightful. This is just one of those little silly jobs. What do you think a 10 minute job's gonna turn into half an hour? Because I just can't get to it. I think what I might do is just loosen the valve, loosen both these screw heads off. And then Start lifting the valve, bring them with it. Okay. It's gonna be an absolute delight putting this back. But at the same time, if they get lost, they get lost. It's not the end of the world, I can buy some more. It's just it's just the inconvenience. There we go. So th this in the trade, I, I like to think it's like playing a game of operation. So now I've got a torque screw stuck to the end of the screwdriver because it's slightly magnetic, but actually not very magnetic. I was saying Halfords was good. Here's the critter. Okay. So, as you can see here, in fact, I might take you with me. And pull this away. So, Hopefully this will focus. So this, this I believe, this tip goes in and out. I feel some movement there. So it doesn't look like you can actually take this apart. It's got a nice O-ring there. Actually looking at that, I wonder if that's original or not. That looks, um, That looks like it might be a replacement. But either way, the plan is today just to douse it in WD-40 and see what happens. So let's do that. We've got the, uh, the old WD-40. I've got a shop rag. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put a bit of WD-40 on this thing.
So what this is doing to the internals, I don't know, but the fact this valve doesn't seem to be working that well anyway. If it does knacker up the internals, it's not, it's not the end of the world. Just cleaning it off. Autofocus is absolutely dreadful to do on this. It's quite a lot of movement in the thing. Not sure if that's entirely factory. It's obviously like what this is doing, it's obviously just opening and closing an air path in the inlet manifold. I'll imagine there's a throttle butterfly is closing. Maybe it's just by allowing a little bit of air to bypass um, into the inlet manifold just to keep the car running. Um, I'd imagine that's what it's doing, but don't quote me on that. As I say, it doesn't look very take apartable. These are 40 quid, um, so it's sort of enough that, you know, given it's not a hard job to actually take it off the car, it's worth just, just trying to keep it going, really. So, if, if I was talking like a day to strip the entire car down to get to this, I'd probably just say, spend the 40 quid. You can see where it's been sitting, the little witness marks there. So anyway, cleaned it all up with the old WD and uh, we'll put it back in the car, see what happens. Let's put this thing back in the car. Now, the actual chamber where it sits all that's in pretty good order. So I'm just gonna put this straight back in. So I think how I'm going to do this is put the rear Allen screw in. Doesn't seem to be directionally sensitive. I think I'll, in fact, this is a good this is a good thing to do. Just just double check what way round it goes. So you can see there's a there's like a pokey oak fitting on this, which means that there's only one way of installing it, just for the plug. So before you you put it in, just make sure it's the right way around because we've all been there where you fit something and then realize it's actually the wrong way around. So, uh, well, oh. see, there's your classic mini head bang going on right there. I'm not a small chap. Right now I'm actually kneeling down. See, now I've actually dropped it. Oh, marvelous. Now, one thing that you've got to be exceedingly careful of, I've just realised. If I drop one of these screws into the inlet manifold, that would be not ideal. Because right now I'm holding a valve above a hole in my inlet manifold with uh, two loose screws, well one loose screw. So, you don't want that dropping in. I think that's in place now. It is, I mean, you can't see much. I can't see much. You, you, the view you are getting, it's pretty much the view I'm getting of this. Now, one thing I'm careful of, I'm actually screwing this into plastic, so I'm screwing into a plastic housing. You don't want to cross thread this because then you've got an air leak directly into your inlet manifold and it's just not going to run well like that. So this is where it gets fun. So right now I've just got my finger wedged onto this torch screw. Try and get the thing down, there we go. So you wedge my finger there into the torque screw and then 
had the end of it, the head of it in my screwdriver. Okay, so you don't want to do this too tight because Okay, just so not not that. Just because if you do it too tight, you might cross thread it, or just strip the threads. I can't see anything. Oh, what a joy! In in, in the infinite wisdom, oh, well, it's probably Austin. Put the catch of the bonnet right in the middle, so you just end up smacking your back on it all the time so I'm just really carefully easing you've just got to feel with these sort of plastic self tappers you just know it just comes with practice really but you just you know when they, they're starting to strip in fact it was something I learned building remote control cars when I was a kid sort of Tamiya's there we go, so I'll put the plug back on there. You know, the amount of Tamiya's I built where just pushed a bit too far. I'll tell you what, that. That feels a little bit loose there. I might put a little Jubilee clip on that just to hold that. But yeah, there we go. So it's plugged back in. Um, I'll put all this back together and... Uh, in fact, what I might do is just, I might just adjust this. This doesn't actually have any adjustment at all, I've noticed. Can I adjust that? Can I adjust this? See all that play there? The throttle pedal. Don't want that. So we'll just have a little look at that. And whilst I'm at it, let's have a look at some of these other bolts so it's been a little while since I've I put this car back together so all the engine mount bolts seem good yeah it's, it's doing all right I've sort of done a few very hard miles in this car uh, since I got it back on the road in May so um, it doesn't do any harm just to really have a look around it I rebuilt all the Fiat or well, the belt system, that all looks in good order. Yeah, it's, it's, it's holding up. Okay, right, I'll get this thing back together. So the thing's all back together. Um, so we're not gonna take this car out for a drive today because it's, it's raining and this thing rusts like an absolute um, uh, proverbial is what I'm going to say so we're not going to take her out but uh, next time I'm out I'll, uh, I'll do a quick vlog and let you know uh, how she goes but uh, all gone together well I realise the uh, lock nut for the throttle adjustment has disappeared so I'm going to have to get a new lock nut just so I can adjust that cable but it doesn't feel like it's, it's down on power this car it feels okay so um so I'm going to just leave that um, for now, but otherwise all back together, little jubilee clip around this hose, hold it in place, and uh, I'll let you know how it goes in the future. So uh, until then, take care. <laughs>